Hi, my name is Vivian, and I recently received my PhD degree from the University of Toronto under the supervision of Dr. Li Dan Yu. And today I'm here to talk about my thesis project, which investigates the relationship between breast cancer bone metastasis and mechanically stimulated bone cells. So bone metastasis, which is a migration of cancers to the bone, is a common and severe complication of breast cancer that is currently incurable. While the five-year survival rate of localized breast cancer is currently over 90%, lot of bone metastasis still remains under 15. Therefore, it is crucial to have a preventative strategy that can reduce the migration and growth of breast cancer cells in the bone. So one reason that breast cancer frequently metastasizes to the bone is that breast cancer cells are capable of interacting with other cells in the bone to disrupt the balance of bone remodeling. And this creates a favorable environment for the breast cancer cells to grow in the bone and creates a vicious cycle between reduced bone quality and increased tumor growth in the bone. Meanwhile, we know that in a normal bone without metastasis, this balance of bone remodeling is maintained by osteocytes, which is a major population of cells in your bone. And because the bone is porous and filled with fluid, when you walk or run or do other bone loading exercise, an oscillatory fluid flow is generated in the bone. And osteocytes have been shown to be able to respond to this oscillatory fluid flow and signal to other cells in the bone to maintain a balance of bone remodeling and also improve the quality of your bone. Therefore, we hypothesize that this flow stimulated osteocyte regulation of bone remodeling may be able to break the vicious cycle of bone metastasis and perhaps reduce the risk of bone metastasis in breast cancer patients. So to simulate the oscillatory fluid flow that osteocytes experience in the bone when the bone is loaded, we use a flow chamber that's shown here. So here, we have a confluent layer of osteocytes on the glass slides. We place them in the flow chambers, fill the flow chamber with fluid, and then collect the flow chamber through syringes on a linear actuator that will pump the fluid back and forth in the flow chamber. And then we collect the condition medium from the osteocytes in the flow chamber, which will include all the signaling factors that the osteocytes have secreted in response to oscillatory fluid flow and apply them to other cells in the bone. So with that, we found that when the osteocytes are stimulated with oscillatory fluid flow, which simulates what they experience when the bone is loaded, they signal through osteoclasts and endothelial cells of the bone, which in turn signals to breast cancer cells and that reduces the invasion, migration, and growth of the breast cancer cells. And with techniques such as RNA sequencing, we also found that genes that are known to be important for cancer and metastasis, such as MMP9, were found to be down-regulating the breast cancer cells when the osteocytes are stimulated with osteotary fluid flow and signals through endothelial cells. So overall, our findings suggest that bone mechanical loading may have an anti-metastatic effect by signaling through osteotary fluid flow stimulating osteocytes.